Hey, today I'm releasing the minimum viable product version of the Rome Xcolid RAW plugin. And I want to demonstrate to you some of the key features as well as how to get started with this plugin. First of all, what you need to do is you need to go to user settings and you need to click allow custom components. Once you've done that, you need to copy this script from the web page and you need to click yes. When you do this, lots of things happen in the background. Amongst others, a Rome template is created. I can pull up the template uh, like this by typing Xcolid Raw. And if I click this button, uh, then I hit enter and I see the splash screen for the Xcolid Raw plugin. You can do two things. The things here, you can first of all go ahead and give this this is my first first come on first drawing and so you can give it a title and you can also click the edit button to edit this image when you click edit the image will come full screen and you can start editing Xcolid Draw is a pretty full featured uh, application uh, you have different basic shapes uh, that you can draw. Uh, you can place text on your uh, drawing as well as you can, uh, for example, group these uh, items together, objects together by pressing Ctrl G. Uh, you can attach arrows to objects which will move together. Oops, I wasn't successful with the attaching here. So again, you can attach objects and then uh, they will move uh, together. Uh, you can align objects. So for example, I want to align uh, these two objects. I can come here and I can uh, align them uh, like this. Uh, you can also, of course, go ahead and color objects. You have various uh, coloring patterns to choose from uh, like this. Uh, you can also um, go ahead and turn on the grid mode and in the grid mode your objects will snap to the grid uh, and uh, if you want to know more uh, there's a help menu here uh, you click uh, this and you will see all the various options you, you have uh, available it is really a very rich uh, interface I have two buttons up here. One is the grid mode you already saw. The other is the Zen mode, which just removes uh, the dock uh, from the side. And so that then you have a full screen view. So let me show you some other things. Uh, if you want to export your image, you can click export and you can choose from PNG or SVG. SVG uh, is the better format uh, if you want scalability. PNG will give you uh, transparency and more, uh, more common or more easy uh, to insert into documents. Um, you can also go ahead and save your uh, picture to the local drive. So these two buttons if I click save here, it will bring up my local uh, folder and I can save uh, Xcolate Raw here. If I want to save Xcolate Raw into Rome, I need to click the disk up here. So if I click it, then from then on, I have this uh, drawing in my Rome uh, database. Uh, if I come back to continue to edit, I just wanted to show you uh, how uh, libraries are working so if I click here on libraries this is a bit peculiar so uh, pay attention uh, I can click on browse libraries which will take me to a web page where you see a whole uh, set of uh, existing libraries and for example if I want to install this webkit library I need to click download don't click on the add to Xcolid raw because it will take you to another site and uh, it won't take you back to Rome. You need to click download, click download, and then you simply close this window. You're back in Rome and you need to click load 
and then you can choose your new library you double click and the next time you open up libraries uh, you will see at the bottom uh, the webkit uh, library uh, was uh, installed if i want to use an image from the library i can just simply click and place and resize so that was one thing i wanted to show you the other thing i wanted to show you is the dark mode if i turn dark mode on then uh, it's going to be uh, the image is going to be dark also if i click save you will see that uh, it uh, will uh, be saved in dark mode also uh, i will remember the setting for you so next time you create an image uh, it will default to dark mode uh, to make it more uh, practical and easy to use so there are uh, some settings you have available so if you want to uh, play with this you can go to roam uh, xcolid raw and here you have two settings you can change the dark to light mode here as well there's really no point because when you save an image uh, it will default next time to the mode that you saved it in but uh, i can change it back here to light if i want to and i can also set the type of image that's embedded in rome which is an svg right now i can change this to a png and then if i come back uh, to my uh, page here then what you will see and let me just uh, put this to full screen so i can uh, resize that this is really not a very good quality picture uh, this is now um, a uh, PNG uh, but I can simply click on this and I can uh, copy the image and I can paste it into a document if I come back to my uh, settings and change this back to SVG and then go back to my uh, demo page and if I resize the SVG you can see that this is resizing really very nicely so finally what I wanted to show you is just my thinking about the roadmap uh, for uh, Rome Excalid Raw. So this is my current thinking. We are at the MVP beta right now. I want to spend the next couple of days, week to stabilize the MVP. There are some uh, rough edges here and there. So for example, one known issue is if i turn on grid mode and then i close my picture and i come back uh, this grid mode tick is on uh, so i need to untick it and tick it again for the grids to come on uh, so i have some uh, such uh, small issues uh, but hopefully it won't stand in your way of using the tool after i have stabilized MVP beta I want to uh, implement block referencing of texts on diagrams so what I have in mind is that if I open up uh, this uh, object you will see that right now I have two items nested under here one is the data in the drawing and the other is the title of the drawing and what I want to be able to do is uh, if I add text here, uh, I want this text to appear on the drawing as well if it is nested under the title. Uh, so this at the moment uh, is not working, uh, but it is absolutely doable. I just didn't have the time to work on it yet. Then the next I want to do is multiplayer mode in Rome. And so what that means is in a graph where you have multiple people accessing that graph uh, you can edit the same drawing and you will see how this drawing appears on the picture and i think that is going to be um, a super fun feature um, then after that i'm going to move on to reusable objects uh, that you can uh, use with block reference so what i have in mind is if i create an object here for example 
uh, this is going to be my object. If I create a group, then this group will appear nested under the uh, Xcolid draw data object, and this will be uh, referenceable in, and reusable in other images. Uh, and so I have a whole uh, set of ideas around how to make these uh, scalable or normalized in size and position. So that's the preparation here. That's why you have this uh, thing here uh, nested under the image. This is sort of paving the way that uh, it is easy to implement later on. And finally, I want to, the holy grail of uh, solutions, I want to uh, annotate uh, images uh, on, how do you spell annotate? Now I don't know, so that's a shame. Um, I want to annotate images uh, in Rome, and the way I want to do that is by uh, let me come back here by nesting an image on uh, Firebase storage here. So simply uh, upload an image here and then the image that's nested under the, the actually draw drawing uh, will be brought up as the background or backdrop to your sketch and you can simply annotate whatever uh, pictures you have uh, within uh, Rome itself. So these are my plans going ahead and in the meantime uh, I hope that you're going to uh, like this tool. This is a super uh, feature rich and fun uh, drawing tool uh, that I hope that you're going to uh, love. So have fun uh, and uh, create nice uh, drawings within Rome. Thank you.